So I want to talk a little bit about the Blues Brothers. Right. So, you know, 20 some odd years after all of this happens at Stax, here comes, here comes John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, right. and, and, and they make this movie. Was that the, was that the, was the movie the catalyst, or was it no, before that? Most people think so, but uh, we had a record out that went quad, quadruple platinum. So four million copies. Mm -hmm. Briefcase full of blues. And the way the Blues Brothers was assembled and got together was that Steve Martin, a lot of people don't know this, used to be a, a writer, a comedy writer uh -huh. for Saturday Night Live. And he had a big record called King Tut. Mm -hmm. So they say, you know, they hire him to do these shows at the Universal Amphitheater in LA. And they said, of course, you know, you'll have to have an opening act. And he said, well, can I pick the act? And they said, well, absolutely, if you want to. So he calls Belushi and says, we're doing, I'm doing these shows at the amphitheater and I need somebody to open for me. So the story that I heard was that Belushi said, well, Steve, you know, we, Danny and I don't do stand-up comedy. And what a lot of people don't know, and I'll regress a little bit, is that Belushi had a band before he ever became a comedian. Huh. He was a drummer and a singer in a band. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people didn't know that Ackroyd was real good on harmonica before he was a comedian, mm -hmm. but he was a writer and a comedian and he knew how to write for John. The other thing is that back on the movie and, and doing the movie is that that gave, they, Danny had been trying to sell the script for a long time. So two things, one is with Universal, which you know distributed the movie and put it out, they would just come off of Animal House, one of the biggest selling movies of all times. And we had Briefcase Full of Blues, which was the biggest selling, selling album of all times, was allowed Atlantic to put a little bit more confidence and pressure to Universal to do the script. Right. And they said, okay, we'll do it. So they tell Danny, he said, uh, well, we're going to do your movie, but you know you have to use actors. And Danny says, hey, if we can't make it with the band, we're not going to make the movie. And they said, well, you can't do that. We always use extras. And they said, and their theory was, we'd rather teach, you know, uh, extras or whatever to play mu musical instruments than try to teach uh, musicians how to act. Mm -hmm. And Danny says, the way I've got the script written, trust me, this will work. And he did. He got his wow. way, and we got to be in the movie, fortunately. We're not supposed to be in it, but we did. So a lot of those copyrights had new life breathed right into them. Yeah. What a, what a wonderful... So that was pretty and, cool. Yeah, very cool. The choice of music that they picked and all yeah. that sort of stuff turned yeah. out pretty good. That's great.